down to the city With a suitcase in my hand Looking for a better deal I'm trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the streets Filling up some useless time And if I'd seen her then and there I would have asked her to be mine Talk about Ooh, someone to dream about. I'm going home alone with only trouble on my mind. I've roamed the streets a thousand times, but a girl is hard to find. I've learned my lesson oh so well. There's only one thing I have found. That's a good woman there. Lucky guy. Did you just say that on camera? Other than you sprayed me with the hose. You wanted it. You were dirty. It's not even, it's like still in the 70s today, so maybe when it's 90s you can spray me. You were dirty. Yeah, well now I'm dirty and wet. Glad you finally realized I was awesome. Everyone else that watches us knows I'm awesome. Glad it took you four and a half years of YouTube to realize I was awesome. It only took me two dates to realize you were awesome. It just took me five years on YouTube to give you some credit for it. Mm -hmm. So let's get these up to the barn. Get a couple, like at least get one or two in place and hooked up, even if it's just like kind of half temporary. So if it does rain tomorrow, we, we might get rain tomorrow. It's not maybe, gonna rain. But... So we had a one tank drain out incidentally accidentally and we've been using a lot of water why did that tank drain out because it had a leak in the hose mm -hmm. so let's go it bugs lots of bugs down here we don't need to talk about all the problems in the world Five years guys still getting more tanks and figuring stuff out takes twice as long as you expect it to if you want to do this you better start doing it now don't wait if you can if you can help it All right, guys, so I'm going to take this gutter off to get it out of my way so I don't have to move the tank completely. I'm going to tip it up. And this tank actually got a little bit off of, uh, off of level. So, because this was barely reaching. Let's check out the inside of the tank. I'll show you how dirty it is. Okay, you guys see that? A little bit of sediment on the bottom. Little scummy. The rest of the tank's good, just on the bottom. So we're gonna spray this out. So guys, the, the bottom, just like the bottom inch, it's not thick, it's just a little bit of sediment on the bottom. So I'm gonna uh, find something to put on the back of this to hold this up, we're gonna spray it out.
on that side, right? Mm -hmm. There we go, guys. Pretty close to the same height. So we're not going to have any losses with this being too low or too high. And then all the tanks will fill up and distribute water, you know, evenly. I think what we're going to do is probably block the water coming to this tank until that one's full. And then we'll open the valves. Because if we open both of these tanks at the same time, all the time, if they're always open, we'll see. We'll have to figure that out. If we're getting a heavy rain. Yeah, if we're gonna, if we're overflowing, we, we want the water to spill into here. But if it's just, I don't know, just we'll have to figure it out. Nice, little bit toward the front, which is what I want. So the water, pretty close to level. So like really close inside the black line a little bit that way but that's okay let's show you guys how we're gonna get this done um, we have a couple extra black tank covers right um, I'll see. Alright guys, so we uh, stocked up on extra adapters to go down to a hose bib. They were cheap on Amazon. We thought they were 25 for two and they were 16 for 16 two, right? 16 for two. So if you were looking for some, make sure you do check out the Amazon link because they're cheap. They're inexpensive. They're like eight to nine bucks a piece. So, and if you buy them, I had a, a guy local that was trying to sell them for 25 bucks a pop. So. Uh, that's the adapter that goes on the bottom of an IBC tote and goes down to a hose bib. So we just did a rain catchment video about all our uh, tanks that we previously had. Now we're doubling it up. We're doubling down. Uh, we're going to include all the links in that video and in this video to all this stuff we're using if you need it. So. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to check it out. It'll be posted in the corner up here below. Above. Yep, we'll put a card in the corner of the video. Mm -hmm. So we picked up at the green store all these uh, hose bib splitters. They have little valves on them and they turn one hose bib into two. So what we're going to do is chain these together at the bottom. Uh, I've seen a lot of people connect the IBC tote tanks with like PVC plumbing at the top. So when the first one overflows, it goes into the second one. Um, that's a great way to do it. We're going to try this for now. Uh, and just connect them at the bottom and then the tanks will be connected and as they'll both fill equally Like I said if we decide at some point we want to chain them together with some additional plumbing and eliminate this system That's fine uh, but you have to Take the water from them separately if you do it that way this way It's gonna fill them all up equally and we'll be able to suck water from them equally. So We'll see how that works. Hopefully it'll work good and then we don't have to like drill holes in our IBC totes and have them overflow into each other. They will just all fill equally from the bottom. So let's show you how we're going to do that. All right, so here's our adapter that was hooked up to this one already. Just slide it right on here. And then you pull the tabs forward. And it's a watertight seal on the end of the... IBC tote. These have little pins so they'll stay locked shut so that's good. Not necessary but we have them so we're going to use them. And then we're going to hook up our splitter like so. Make sure your gaskets are always in there, your o-rings, washers, Make sure this stuff's tight because we don't want any drips. All right. So now we have our Y. 
This is where we're going to hook our hose for taking water out. And we're going to chain it with another hose over to the other tank. We'll show you. So this is just going to be our outgoing hose. Nice thing is, too, is we can leave our main valve for the IBC tote on or off. And now we have valves going to each each direction. So this can be turned on and off to take, this is gonna be our outgoing hose. Let's show you how we're gonna connect our other hose to the other tank. Are we gonna hook up three tanks over here? Is that what we're doing? Or are we gonna take one here, one there, one over to the cabin? What do you think? Because that makes a difference how we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna think for a minute and then we'll tell you what our final plan is. I think there should be at least one on each side and maybe one with the cabin. One with the cabin. I mean, that, that's a lot of water. That, go, that one's always full too. Yeah. You know, it takes about the same amount of square footage. It takes about 300 square foot as opposed to this takes 400. And then we have more water close to the cabin too. Yeah, we can just set it up. So, so next to it or something just the same way. I yeah, so we, we do it. yeah, we were debating, and we could always put three and two on either side and use them all up. Yeah. And we don't have to have we equal amounts, four, but, so but two and two at least, two, two and two, and then we can figure out what to do with the last one. Yeah, we can always stick it on this side or that side, whatever is easiest. Mm -hmm. So this let's. Side uh, would probably be better, just so it's not as much in the way. Yeah. But. Yeah. We'll just get at least one set up farther on away from everything, but that one's far away too because it's but, at the back of the barn. But this one will be good. This one, we need to figure out like a long-term um, pumping station. Like we need a pump over here. This one would be good if we have three because when we build this building here, oh yeah, if we have a roof yep. for it too. We can lead a gutter over here too. That's true. That's so a good. A, that's a good point. One. Yep. Good point because we're gonna have a lot of roof space yeah, on we're this. Have a building here. I want to have a roof. This so, is where our he shed, she shed is going to go. I think that's what we're going to call it, guys. You got a better name for it? Let us know. Drop your suggestions below, but... It's going to be for uh, probably some guest quarters, maybe, but primarily we want to do it for... Sugar shack. Sugar shack. Greenhouse. Laundry. laundry. Yep. So he shed, she shed, and then it'll maybe be like working quarters, too, like if Jay needs to work and I'm working, or if Jay needs to work and like do voiceover for videos or if I need to work and I just want quietness and he wants to be able to work in the cabin be like a mini work cabin you'll probably never go you'll probably never go in there because you never get sick of me <laughs> so it'll be a mini work cabin too so you got a better idea than he should she should drop it but that's what I think we should do put a third one yeah, over here that, that way sense. when we have the roof lying over there we're not losing water there too yeah well, that makes sense so we're gonna hook it up that way let me go find my hoses that I I bought at the uh, garage sale. Because then that's good too, because if we're going to have laundry, we have a tank for laundry yes, right there too. that's true too. The most water over here, so three over here. That's good decision. I'm a thinker. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, so final decision made. Jen brought up a, real, a lot of good points. We're going to hook up three tanks over here. So I'm going to flatten out a little spot over here. That means we're going to put another Y or splitter on the end of this adapter so we can daisy chain over to a nut one more tank. So that's perfect. Um, what's working great for these, or going to work great, is uh, washer, washing machine hoses. They have double female ends on them and they'll hook right to our hose bibs on both tanks. We picked these up for a couple bucks at a garage sale. I'm glad I got them. Now, I don't know if hoses like this are food grade. I know uh, hoses in general, you're supposed to have like a different style hose if you're gonna drink out of it or keep like RV hoses and such. But most of this water over here is going to be used for watering stuff, laundry, uh, you know, stuff like that. And by the time we do drink it, it goes through lots of filters. Lots of so filters. If it does become water for the cabin, it's all right because it gets filtered, filtered like three times before it's being closed in our mouths. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's, uh, that's a good idea. Good points. Bringing up the lots of extra stuff over here. And we might do an outdoor shower over here. Yeah. There's all kinds of reasons to have three over here. So, all right. Going to connect that one right here with a piece of hose over here. And we're going to have another Y. 
to connect the third tank, right? Yep. So we have our second adapter, second Y. We only need a second Y because we're going to a third tank. That's what I was trying to figure out. We don't need another Y if we were only staying at two tanks. So let's get this little bit of off of here. All right, guys. So here's our adapter that we showed you earlier. This has a, uh, a ring or gasket in it that when you clamp it down, it pushes against this face. So put it on here like this and pull your little tabs forward. There we go. And again, these have little clips on them. Not necessary probably, but it doesn't hurt to put them on. We're not gonna be taking this on and off frequently. There we go. Splitter. Perfect. Hopefully these are long enough. <laughs> They're probably gonna be like an inch short or something silly. Again, gaskets or rings in there, washers, nice and snug. All right, we'll come over to our secondary tank. Perfect. All right, so now when our valves are all open, the water will originally come into the first primary tank, and then it will just gravity feed into this one, and they will both fill up at the same rate. Like I said, I'm not sure 100% uh, if we'll leave them all open all the time. It's better to have like the primary tank full and suck just off of that tank. And then if we get more rain, we can open the valves and it'll evenly distribute into here. So we'll figure it out, right? Let's see what happens with today's rainfall. Yeah. Right? We got zero water in here. So hopefully it rain. rains for an hour. And not to rain for 10 two, minutes. It's supposed to rain for like two or three hours today. So before we go over to the other side of the barn and hook the secondary tank on to that side, Jen um, informed me that it probably would be a good idea to uh, put the gutter back on to the tank because we're not going to collect a whole lot of water if there's no gutter going to the tank. <laughs> so that's why you need a beautiful, smart woman like Jen around. So I don't just think it's all done, go inside, smile that my all my tanks are working and then there's no gutter going then to it. Then he comes outside to check it for an hour after it's raining and he's like, oh. what? <laughs> it, he may or may have had done stuff like that before in the yeah. past. That's why I'm the double checker of things. Yeah, you know, gotta keep an eye on me, you never know. <laughs> Here we go guys. There we go. Perfect. Let's go get the other side done. Alright guys, we got it over here. We got it level. It's starting to sprinkle. Uh, let's get this tank on here or get this cover on here. so we got this all set up pretty quick and I don't have to move the gutter or nothing so now we have 550 gallons over here 550 gallons over there we're only gonna put two tanks here so I don't need a second Y I got my raincoat on, guys. You know what that means? So we got water dripping in here. Hooray, hooray. Coming out nicely from the gutter. This tank 
This tank here has got some water in it, as you can see. And let's show this one off. This one, too. So that's at about 75 gallons right there. See? So that's filling up all via the hose there. That one's at about 75 also. So I'm gonna have to double the storage capacity at which is so wonderful. So that way we can have lots of water all summer long, all the time. Uh, we'll show you what they look like after the rain. It's supposed to rain on and off all night. So hopefully, come morning, we have five, six tanks full of water. All right, guys, the other day when we set up the other two tanks, uh, we thought it was going to rain, like, heavily, so we hurried up and got them done, and then it, it just kind of, like, half rained for the last couple days while we've been poking around and making videos and catching up on other stuff and just, oh, we got some firewood. We did uh, some more firewood for the cabin. We have a bunch of standing dead down by camp that we uh, knocked down, just a truckload or two. And our woodshed's almost full. We got, like, another two truckloads and we'll be rocking and rolling i uh split all this wood from this basswood that, we, that was leaning towards the barn uh, when i cut these two trees down i split all that that's going to be my uh, wood for uh, maple sapping next year so i need to get a stack of that piled up too because it needs to be good and dry or the, bo the sap doesn't boil good so uh, here's our last tank. Well, we got this one, and then we're going to put one on the cabin, too. We're going to move the two that are on the cabin. Because uh, I'll explain that to you when we get over there. But let's put this last tank in real quick. This is five-minute, you know, not five-minute, but i got to level it out, put it in. Uh, quick, easy job. We had to pick up a few more fittings. So let's go. All right, guys. All right, so we went and bought a couple more washer hoses. I know these probably aren't food grade, but, uh, you know, we're not drinking out of them. We're just like, 90% of this water is going to go in the garden. So maybe we'll uh, get some PEX and we'll put these all together in a nice PEX uh, line next year or later this year if we have empty tanks again at some point but I just wanted to do this quick so we could get water stored if we needed it because the plants aren't gonna care if it sits in this a little bit like you guys saw last night when I showed you it was all filling up it only rained for like an hour last night <laughs> yeah we don't need to divert the gutter into multiple tanks we just need to have all the tanks hooked up and they're all hooked up at the bottom so they're all gonna fill up evenly like right now we have just one tank filling, and we have it was about 75 last night. Yeah, about a foot of water in the bottom of both of these tanks. Yeah, so, so yeah, we got about 80, 90 now. Yeah. About 90 gallons in each one. Yeah, it was about 75 last night when I checked, but it was yeah. just when it was starting to rain. So. Yeah. Plus, it's like I said, that I wouldn't be surprised, especially if we're going to get four inches. That's crazy. You could fill up. That's thousands. a lot of rain, guys. That's like. It's not normal hurricane kind of level like tropical storm level rains like i said it's just kind of a quickie thing maybe next year or maybe later in the year because uh, because we have valves and stuff we could close all the valves and do re-plumbing we just want to get this hooked up right now mm -hmm. 
We are going to get lots of rain and we want to take advantage of it because here in Michigan we'll we know it. we could go, we can get a ton of rain tomorrow, we can go two weeks without rain after this. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we're surrounded by the lakes, it's just that's the way it is. <laughs> to leak. So there we go. Open, 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 open. Everything's open. So it should start pouring into that one actually, which you can already hear it moving. So guys, the 90 gallons that's in here, 90 gallons in the number one tank and number two tank are going to now slowly start feeding over and level out in here. So you'll see that shortly. Oh, that's kind of cool how it can all work like that. All right, guys. So the nice way of having this set up this way as well is it's versatile. Like if all four or all three of these tanks fill up to the top, we could shut this one off, this one off, and just use gravity water from the front one and move hoses around and you know if we use gravity instead of electronic pump you know so and then if we get two weeks of rain or two weeks of no rain then we could have full tanks in reserve slash like not have to drain them all down equally because once they get a little bit lower they'll be harder to grab from a little bit but I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's just versatile. We just like things being flexible and be able to switch things up and try things out. So it's exciting that we're gonna have double the amount uh, of storage, especially with this big storm coming. Yep. Yeah. Gotta take advantage of it. And we have a few more IBC tote covers in the mail coming this way. So you guys, you know, Jen again with all our rainwater videos, all of our videos actually are gonna have a lot of the stuff for rainwater catchment because we get so many questions about rain catchment and how we use water and you know a lot of those little tools and accessories and stuff will be in the description box with links if you need them yes so uh, let's go do the one over by the cabin i think we're going to move everything over there to closer to the cabin and like i said we'll explain to you why uh we're doing that now mm -hmm. all right guys uh we got our tanks cleaned out uh we try to when these are empty, tip them up and flush them out once a year now. I guess that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, what we're going to do is attach this secondary tank to the original tank. The reason we had this tank out here originally, like six or eight feet from the cabin, was why? Because we hadn't done the siding or the skirting on the cabin. Yeah, we wanted. We still had to work on the cabin, so we didn't want to butt it up to the cabin and not be able to then have to move it or dump our water. So... Now that the cabin is done over on this side, all the siding, the skirting's done, gutters are done, uh, we could put the tanks right next to the cabin. The only thing it could become an issue with is if we stain, you know, but we'll be able to get behind there with stain, I guess. Figure it so, out. So we just want to get the tanks close to the cabin. It'll look nice. We'll have to redirect our gutter a little bit, but it'll look better than them just being out here in no man's land. Mm -hmm. So, right? Yep. So let's do it. Ooh. Close enough. Level? Jane Jen level. Now uh, we'll and connect it, and then we'll get the gutter hooked up to it. All right, guys, we have two tanks now over here on the uh, side of the cabin. Uh, we're, we had some uh, covers on order for the last two, and we've got a couple extras. So we have a pump that runs at the front of the cabin for all our outside water for watering stuff coming around the corner here to this tank we have it wide over to this tank and we also put a y on this one so jen could gravity feed or gravity water her plants on the side of the hill so 
So lots of lots of improvements. I'm pretty excited. So guys, we were Where's Scooter at? Hold on. Beep him once. It's on both. Scout, come. come here. He's not outside the zone because it. Okay, he's over there. Okay. He's a little worried. We gotta keep an eye on the dog. So this morning, oh, well, like when we first started this all about an hour and a half ago, we like right when we first got out here. I got a notice on my phone that there was an animal on the food plot from our keen cameras and I go and look at it just thinking it's a deer because it's what it is 99% of the time. No, well, it's two bears. So here, you'll see the video here. I'll put it over the you see, some overlay. You'll see the video right here, but um, yeah. <laughs> we gotta make sure the dogs stay here and we gotta make sure because the food. The food plot orchard's only 100 yards, 200. 150 yards. It's like two to 300 yards away, so you gotta be careful. A as you could walk straight through the woods, it's not that far away. <laughs> it's, a, it's 200 yards away. So we made a bunch of noise, we played the radio for a half hour, and yeah. they haven't been back, but yeah. <laughs> we hay bared, hay bared. We never saw them, they were just 100, you know, they were, like I said, it's only it's less than 200 yards away. That way the wind can't blow it off. Hear that sound? It's the sound of rain. It's been raining all day long. Jay's out here checking the tanks. <laughs> Need a bigger umbrella. I got a raincoat. How we doing? We got three half a tank here. I haven't checked the other side, but I assume they're all over half full because they were already a third full. Let's see them. Do so. I said they're about half full. We got another. We got a whole another a whole night of raining still. So lots of water. It's gonna rain all night too, guys, and it's. Been raining like a pretty heavy, good drizzle like this. <laughs> this is not a drizzle. This is a, this is pouring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that one. That one. Right there. Right about there. Three quarters full. Well, I just showed you, we got three inches of rain yesterday. And what did they give us in our tanks? Uh, a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hard to gauge, but we have uh, most, we have a couple of full tanks. We have three full tanks and then five tanks that are partially filled, but mostly filled. So we have, I have no idea how many gallons of water. We have <laughs> lots. Yeah, the two over here on this side of the barn are completely full, so that's 550 gallons. We have two tanks over by the uh, cabin. Uh, you guys saw us install those. Those are only about half full, so you got about 275 to 300 gallons over there. So that's 808, 850 gallons with these two and those two, right? Mm -hmm. So five, 550 plus 300, and then we have these three tanks over here.
And these three you said were all about two thirds full? Yep. So these three tanks are all, you know, daisy chain together and all have about 200 gallons a piece in them, more than two thirds, just a little bit more. So that's like 600, 600 gallons. Plus 850. That's 1450 plus we have the one by the compost bin. Yeah, which is another 275. So what do we have? 1350? 14. 1450. 50. Plus another 200. That's 1650 plus 75. So 1725. A lot of water, huh? 1725 gallons. So we have 1725 gallons, and that's not including our tank for the cabin that we filled up prior to the rain mm -hmm. in anticipation to make sure that everything was full. So, so we have like 2,000 gallons of water. So it's exciting. Yeah. And it's going to rain again on Tuesday, it said, like in the morning. So it should definitely top everything off at that point. Top everything off, and, um, and we won't have to water anything. Yeah, everything's going to have a real good water on it. The, the blueberries are doing awesome. The grass is doing awesome. The garden's doing awesome. Jen's four million beautiful, beautiful flowers that make this place look like an oasis are, are doing awesome. Yep. So we're very excited and very happy with this setup so far. Uh, and I think everyone should just pick up a bunch of these IBC totes. Yeah, if you need water collection, yeah. rain collection, and you're um, off grid, this is definitely an easy solution. We have an average of $100 into each tank. So you figure we have $800, $800 into all these tanks. Well, nine, eight, 900 bucks at all these tanks. We get free water whenever it rains. Yes, yep. we'd get free water if we had a well, but wells are, get somebody back here, they want a lot of money. Yeah, and we <laughs> can't get a well truck up to the cabin, yeah. so it's impossible. We could have one at camp and then transfer all the water up here, which is possible if we, you know, maybe in five years we'll do that. But I don't see why. Like, let's let's try this first, right? Yep. So, so thanks guys for hanging out with us during this uh, rain catchment improvement video. Uh, doubling down. Yep, let us know what you guys think of our new setup. And would you do something different? I've seen people put these IBC totes together different ways, and I think this way is pretty easy and versatile. So, so thanks guys again for hanging out with us. We appreciate you all, and see you on the next video. Best wishes. <laughs> Smile. Smile. Smile must be the angle you got like wide angle on or something no that's the angle like when you're on the edges you look like warped is it rounded or something no it's you got like fish glass eye on or something <laughs> taking freaking thumbnails and i i mean i'm a big dude but i look like freaking blimpy <laughs> maybe i always look like blimpy but GoPro's going over here the whole time.